I guess body weight as well is going to be a factor. Big factor, major factor, because anytime you're talking about things like uh, glucose, insulin is always very individualized responses to each individual person. I don't really, I, don't, I try and stay away from fruit these days. I don't know. I, I, know, I, I have berries and raspberries and stuff yeah. like that. And because people tell me there's like polyphenols in blue, black, blackberries. But those are totally con, uh, co cohesive with the ketogenic diet. Yeah. Because they're higher in fiber. So, like, you know, half of what you're consuming, not half, but a large portion of it's fiber. So it's more about the net carbohydrates. It's the, the glycemic metabolic impact of the food. So if the fiber is non-digestible, which in fruit it mm -hmm. isn't, then it shouldn't, it doesn't count, right? So higher fiber content, most of the vegetables on a ketogenic diet are higher fiber, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, it's the, it's the total carbohydrate to fiber ratio. It's the net carbohydrates that really matter because that's the amount of, that's the metabolic, real and metabolic impact okay. of food. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of keto friendly foods say like, net carbs at one gram or something, but you look at it and you go fucking, it says 20. It's total bullshit.